Good morning. I just wanted to share with you something I've been studying. I do sit here with my book and my journal, spirit journal, and I journal all the time. And I'm feeling as though some people need some encouragement. There are a lot of things you're going to do, and there are a lot of doubts, skeptics, and cynicism that you could run into. But what you better well do is believe in yourself. The Bible says in Matthew 18, chapter 18, verses 19 through 20, it says, Again, I say unto you, and I have this written in my book, that's why I'm looking down. Again, I say unto you that if two believers on earth agree, that is, if they are of one mind in harmony, about anything that they ask within the will of God, it will be done for them by the Father in heaven. For when two or three gathered in my name, as in if two or three touch and agree, literally, spiritually, in, in mind. So we're here. I'm touching and agreeing with you now. You're looking for someone to believe in you. You're looking for someone to make you feel like you're not crazy for wanting what you're wanting. I'm here. I'm reaching out. We're touching, agree touching and agreeing right now. Okay? Okay. For when two or three gather in my name, meeting together as one of my followers, I am there with them. What that scripture means, let me break this down for you. Let me break this down for you. Yes, you can pray on your own and you can use that power and that solidarity to move. But call out to intercessors. Intercessors, people who stand in the gap, who pray for you, people who have never met you, but they feel you weighing on their heart and they go, ooh, ooh, I feel that. Let me just pray real quick. Let me just, God, I don't know what you need, but I'm here, I'm listening. And if it is your will, let it be done. And they stand in the gap for you. So don't ever feel as though you're alone and don't ever feel like there isn't someone watching. There is always someone in the spiritual realm going to war, going to battle for you. It even says in chapters 26, verse 53, in the same book of Matthew, don't you realize that if I ask God to help me, he will release legions and fleets upon angels to fight in my name, to fight on my behalf. 12 legions, thousands. That's what it says. That's what it says in the Amplified Bible. Listen, I'm only using Christianity as an example because that's my background, that's where I come from, and that's what I know. But there are many other texts, many other faiths, religions, and walks of life where it talks about people coming together to agree upon one solid goal, and it should be accomplished. And how sometimes the battle isn't yours to fight. Sometimes God will send and help and you don't even know it's there, but you got to be open to accepting. and you have to believe in yourself and you have to have faith. Don't let people come in and doubt who you are and doubt your destiny. Don't even worry about it. If they doubt, it is just temptation to make you doubt yourself. Do not lose pride and hope and belief and faith in yourself. If there's something you want or if there's something you feel is your destiny, it is your goddamn destiny. Okay. Don't let someone come in and tell you that you are not who you are. Remember who you are. It is so important. I get really loud, but it's so important. And love yourself. Love everything about yourself. The good, the bad, the ups and downs. You are learning every day. You stumble and you tiptoe and you walk and you fly. You are beautiful and you are fearfully and wonderfully created and you are so special and you are so precious and everything you do matters even when you make a mistake because free will matters yes that kingdom come that will be done but your will also matters the choices you make matter so choose yourself choose to love yourself choose to follow your passions and your hearts and into believing yourself when no one believes in you, because I say things all the time, even to people I love, and they just take out a grain of salt, like, uh-huh, oh yeah, ha-ha, that's cute. Like, they don't take me seriously, but it don't matter, because I take me seriously, and I know how real this shit is. Yes, I said shit, because I'm a human being, and I stumble, and I fall, and sometimes I curse, but that don't mean... That don't mean I'm not powerful and it don't mean that God don't see me and it doesn't mean that I don't have good stuff up in the universe working in my favor. So you better believe I am whole. I am up. I am down. I am hot. I am cold. I am everything I am meant to be. And I accept that and I own that. So I encourage others, if you're feeling doubtful today, if you're feeling a little bit of the Monday blues, just remember blue is a powerful color, baby.